What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. Snap on Friday. Right there's the man. Y'all know what time it is. Let's do it. Come on. Finally Friday. Ain't this crazy having to turn on the air conditioner today and the heat's been on the rest of the time. Yeah, and talking about tomorrow being uh, freezing and snow again. And then Saturday, uh, Sunday, what, 50 or 51 or something? Welcome to Mississippi. If you don't like yeah. the weather, wait till tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> That's what uh, I told my wife, I should have wore shorts today. Yeah. And then tomorrow I'll be having to get my dang winter coat back out. Sure enough. Sure enough. All right, y'all check this out. This is a new box Hamilton just got in. Black with pink trim. Tell everybody about it. Yeah, this is one. It's actually from the uh, uh, Breast Cancer Awareness. When we had all that stuff going on. Uh, this is the first one I've ever seen to come with a felt around the keys on some of a plastic bag. It is just a black box, pink trim, black wheels, and black uh, oh, yeah, lettering on the front of it. The label is black. I think it's cool, man. It does. It looks good. I actually like that color. I can get in here, y'all, and see it better. Get that out of the way. Yeah, that looks good. They, uh, I can't remember the model number that was on this one. KCP fourteen twenty two WGZ. KCP fourteen twenty two WPZ. That's sure. WGZ. My bad. WGZ. That's cool looking. That pink looks good on there. So you got that for sale. So if you guys are looking for a black toolbox with pink trim. Got one right here. And there it is. Cool looking. Cover it back up, keep the dust off of it. All right, so here's the other box he had brought in. You can see it's a pretty blue, like a royal blue with red trim. Look how they did the snap on my guy. This is a 73 inch box. Let's see if I get the model number. Here you guys. KCP 1423 WGP Midnight Blue. That's the same blue that my old box was. Mm -hmm. And then with a the red trim on it. Doesn't have power drawer and all that kind of stuff too. Oh, it's got the power drawer in. Mm -hmm. Very nice box here. So it is available for sale. If you guys are interested in it, that's a cool box right there. Looks out like blue and red together. No doubt. It looks good though. It does look good. I like that red and blue. Yeah. Sharp box. Well, I've been up in the great state of Washington all week. Sightseeing and vacationing. Working. Working. <laughs> What's a vacation? Yeah, exactly. I don't even. I guess I'm about to Google that and see what figure that out what means. that is. Yeah, everybody keeps talking about a vacation, but I don't know. I must not have that in my playbook. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about that in elementary school. Yeah, now I went up there and worked and done some stuff and shot some really cool videos while I was up there and good times, man. That's some beautiful country out there too. Yeah, it was cold, like maybe. 50s during the day which was nice but man in the morning times and late at night it was cool up there it rained on you any no uh there was a bunch of snow but it was melting you know like during the day but when i first got there there's some snow that's nice that ain't bad then good food i ain't never been up there i got an uncle that lives in oregon but uh i've never been up to anywhere in the far northwest or yeah. even west it's, it's, that far west it's anyway. pretty up there yeah Lots of construction, like this town we went to there in Spokane, uh, me and the guy that was showing me around up there, we went up to this like subdivision, it was already established, like it's going up the side of a mountain, oh, the whole cool. top of the mountain, there was hundreds of houses up there, 
and everywhere they could stick a house on the side of that mountain on the way up to it, I think there was like 30 new build constructions in a row. How dang. Just one subdivision. And it's like that everywhere. So, man, the housing market is booming in Washington. That's for dang sure. I know. We're talking about like that. Uh, my wife got some family that lives in, or I say Little Rock, but it's Cabot, Arkansas. Yeah, just yeah, right outside Little saying. Rock. Yeah. And uh, they just built a house up on a big old hill like that too. But going to their house, they're showing us around town and stuff. And they said there's one subdivision that has over 1,400 homes in the one subdivision. Holy they got cow. red lights. They got their own grocery store. They got their own school inside the subdivision. <laughs> it's like and a city inside a city. That's what they. That's what it is. Wow. The, uh, I had to try to remember what the name of it is. I have to ask my wife and see. But yeah, I mean, it was just. They got their own zip code there. <laughs> you could <laughs> post office and everything. But yeah, had their own grocery store in there. Their own school. Uh, they said that they're their own park and rec leagues. I guess, well, if you got 1,400 houses, you probably Shoot got enough you. kids to do it, I imagine. Maybe your own stuff going on. That's cool. Well, only time you ever have to leave your subdivision is go to Walmart, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know, know, there's some people that say, I never left the town that I grew up in. Like, they're going to be some never people that never subdivision. left the subdivision. <laughs> it's a treat to go out of the subdivision. Yeah. Well, that's different. What new and cool stuff you got this week? I right, was well, hoping my CT 861s will be in this week, and I think they are. I think they're coming in today, finally. Cool. Uh, so I have them. Well, make sure to hide that gun. Just don't even, just leave that gun metal gray one at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have to bring that bad boy to you. Uh, I, have to, I can't remember what else is on there. I didn't have a whole bunch of stuff coming in, just a couple of little small boxes. I think another scanner or something like that coming in, finally. Yeah. And, uh, you're finally getting caught up with everything? A little bit. Tough, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Well, but I did put something back here that you seen last week we was going to talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> He had it on the <laughs> truck when I was walking off. I seen that. So, turn it around on the side and I'll see all the way around it. So tell everybody, yeah, <laughs> the story's yeah. really good. On this. <laughs> like you can't make this shit up. Like, uh -uh. You just can't make it up. Well, I had a guy. He brought it to me. On the, it's been a while back now. It's just been in the drawer, and I forgot about it honestly. Uh, but yeah, a guy brought it to me. One of my customers. He's like, hey, he said, I don't see about. Uh, he said, I already know the answer. I'm sure. He said, I just don't check with you. He said, brought this, handed it to me. He said, would Snap on do anything with that? I said, well, uh, so first of all, I said, what happened to it? And he said, well. He said, I ain't gonna lie to you. He said, working on a big truck shop. He said, we put it on one of our trucks. I was using it. He said, I shut the light off and uh, closed the hood. Went to lunch or something, came back, closed the hood, and the truck went to uh, Washington, D.C., came back, and they was gonna pop the hood and surface it, change the oil, do whatever they gotta do, and he found his light under the hood. I can't remember what he said. It was propped up on. Apparently, it was close to the turbo or uh, exhaust manifold or something. <laughs> he said but he got it out, and he even used it. The battery's dead now. I won't even come on no more now. Got done show to everybody. He said, I used it until the battery uh, finally went but dead. And the battery's melted. Melted into it. Into it. Like, it's not coming out. <laughs> but he ended so up buying another buy light and another, another battery. Yeah, he did. He understood. That's what I must there. I mean... Snap on's not going to warranty that out. They would charge you. Uh, they did charge him just a flat rate fee. I yeah. called Snap on and told him what happened, and they was like, just charge him flat rate, and we'll credit you the difference on it. So, how so, much is flat rate on a light? Well, that's the, the crazy part. The light's like 90 something bucks. Flat rate was 65 So, it's like about $30 on it. Of course, what he had to buy a battery. They wouldn't do nothing with the battery. Yeah. Uh, that's where they got him at the $105 battery. <laughs> but, uh, they credited me, and I was like, well, y'all want the light? They was like, no, nah, because I got the battery on it. I can't send it back to them. Yeah. So they told me to just throw it away. I was like, well, I'm going to show that there, buddy, because... That is I mean, pretty cool. Like, yeah. That shows how tough that song is. I've seen these lights, or I, and a bunch of the snap-on lights, but especially these were... I think Clay seen one before this whole piece was melted, like, mm -hmm. down. And it would still come on and off, and you could swap the battery out on it. <laughs> and, but it's just, it's shocking how tough these things can be and Nothing still work. Nothing to tops the impact that was broken. I <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm proud we actually got that on video because nobody would believe it. Yeah. 
they, yeah, the amount of stories that mechanics have come up with on stuff. And I, I'm not calling them stories. I mean, not, most of them probably are yeah. true. They're good stories. Yeah. Is what they are. They're entertaining for sure. <laughs> but yeah, they, uh, I thought about trying to cut the battery out of it, trying to cut the plastic and see, but I'd be afraid to cut too far off in there or something. And then that, uh, we all know what lithium will do. You start cutting yeah. on it. I, I wouldn't do it on the truck anyway. No. <laughs> But it is, I wish it would you still come on. You might take a pry bar and stick in there right there under that. And yeah, I think you, you could probably. Get another one to unlock it. Well, that's yeah. not unlocked. Yeah, so you could pro you could probably pry that battery out there. Probably. The battery would probably still take a charge. It could, if it was it. running, I bet it will. Yeah. It would bust all that plastic loose right here. But it probably would come out. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> that's funny. It's like a tough. Yep. So would you, uh, I know, uh, you're on social media and you see stuff. What do you think about some of the pictures that you've seen from this week's show that Matco just got out of? Oh, well, I did. I seen some of the pictures. I ain't seen all of them yet. But they, I did think it was pretty funny that they brought in the blue pry bars on all their stuff after they was going to discontinue the blue because blue is not a pop, not a real good seller in their eyes. How long have you been able to buy blue pry bars? I, oh, how long? Oh, buy blue ones about a few months <laughs> <laughs> yeah the mayhew yeah. mayhew's had blue way before matco decided they're gonna do blue yeah so i don't know been able to get the blue ones for a long time that don't make any sense like if the ratchet's so good and the manufacturers are like the screwdriver same way we had blue screwdrivers forever. forever yeah you know why not yeah, i, I don't guess that's why man you don't run a company probably so be, well that's like everything else I mean, just logic. You gotta be logical with stuff. And I think to be a big time corporation, you can't use logic. You gotta throw all that out the window. And um, the sad part is it happens a whole lot more than it don't. <laughs> yeah, and exactly I mean, not, right. not with just that corporation, yeah. but with a bunch of corporations. Yeah, I mean, not even in the tool industry. Yeah, just, just big businesses in general. in general. Yeah. I'm sure there's a reasoning. And I think I hit the reason on the head when I did the video about why yeah. they don't do blue tools is because you know, when you don't make anything and you call Mayhew, for example, I'm sure they're not going to build you a thousand sets of Matco labeled pry bars. You're probably going to have to buy 10,000 or 20,000. Who knows how many? Yeah. And that costs a lot of money to front and they're afraid they wouldn't sell them. And, oh well. Yeah, I, I don't understand it with you in the business of doing that, though. But so. what I think is funnier than anything as soon as Matco says, <laughs> we're not going to do blue anymore, Snap-on's like, hey, boys, y'all look over here. <laughs> we got it right here. Yeah, we got that but color of blue. I we, think it's funny. And that Snap-on, Snap-on's done a bunch of stuff with blue. We, mm -hmm. uh, well, like this is the, this blue came out a long time ago. Yeah, that, that one. blue. Uh, I did get this right here again the other day. That's, that, the, uh, that's the, the newest blue color. That's the blue that I was That's the one that we're talking about. Yeah. And that part and it's sort of like a pearl, kind of like a pearl in, in it instead yeah. of just, because like on here it looks like it's got white, kind of a white sheen, but it's not, it's, you can see it, the shimmer of it. That's a good color. They yeah. did a good job of that. And that's the one that they, uh, what I'd like to see Matco or Snap-on do is come out with the soft grips, like the green and yeah, the red. And instinct have, with the blue. blue. Yeah. Yeah. And it wouldn't be hard to do. Right there's the hammers. Yep. You guys have seen the, the hammers before. We already told everybody the part number on these too. On like, of course this one is uh, PB for apparel blue. So mm -hmm. it'll be a 96 ACF PB. And this one is the, be a TH because it got the hard handle. THLF D72 MB because this will be the Matco blue color. Mm -hmm. I don't know if a lot of folks probably don't remember that, but that's where that comes People from. People probably won't believe that, but that's... that's. I mean, you can ask any of your snap on reps what the part number is on it. That go blue. So, that, that took some balls. Especially when Matt goes like, <laughs> oh, we're afraid Cornwell will get mad at us. When or people will think it's Cornwell too. Snap on like, you know, that's the guy that's like, hold my beer. Yeah, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> like, here. Let me finish slamming this 12 pack and I'm going to show y'all what we're fixing to do. Yeah, hold my beer and watch this new color. We're going to make blue and then we're going to call it Matco Blue on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> the part number's MB. How you like that, boys? I think it's funny. But yeah. That does take some balls. 
<laughs> the uh, whoever the uh, product manager is over that guy shake his hand. <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny, but they do. They need to come out with a soft grip. I think it would be good. Yeah, the soft grip I think on the sale really good too. And uh, of course, I'm all this. I would like to see a little bit lighter color blue than what this one is. I do like the pearl. Uh, not this light. This is. I think yeah, that's too light. Kind of in between. In between them would be a lot better, in my opinion. Like the blue point blue yeah. would be good. That royal blue would look yeah, awesome. Yeah, I like that. Get a little bit of that pearl look on that color, and that'd mm -hmm. show enough to look good then. Then they'd say, well, snap on the Bible say, well, we're afraid people think it's cobalt. <laughs> snap on I doubt probably, that. They don't give a flip what <laughs> other people are thinking. I promise you that. John yeah. notice he said flip. I was impressed right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i hope they do that'd be kind of cool if they come out with the soft grips with uh with that on there might as well it's sailing they will sooner or later yep the blue toolboxes do pretty good don't they yeah i always have well how much longer we got for that's gone I, well, I was hoping to done been gone i think i got rid of two coats this week so can we left about eight? I think about eight of them left back there, seven or eight. You need to start running the shops that's not buying a coat in the mornings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I told my wife, I said, I'm about to run Saturday this week while it's cold outside. That way people will be yeah, ready for a coat. A coat. <laughs> then you can sell them a fan in the evening. Like yeah. Come see them that morning and sell them a coat, and that afternoon you sell them a fan. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Get some little fans that tell the time and the date and all that stuff again. <laughs> yeah, those are neat. Yeah. Sure enough. Well, I guess we're going to get back in here and get to work, but that's cool to see for sure. I'm going to get the battery off of it somehow or another. We're going to see I if it takes a charge. charge. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you guys have a killer weekend. Have a great time. And like always, drink one for me and Hamilton. Please. Because we need Did you it. notice everybody's comments on the last video or the last couple of videos? Michelob Ultra ads are running before the video. I was like, they need to just sponsor this channel. Yeah. Like, they don't have to give us no money. They just send us some product. Yeah. Or you see, of course, everybody's on TikTok now, and you can get, you can spend hours on that if you ain't careful. <laughs> and, uh, but some of them guys, like, and this is sponsored by so and so and so and so and Coors Light or so and so and so and, yeah. and Miller Light. I <laughs> like, they try, they working hard to get that sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Like, all they got to do is just send us a picture every Friday. Yeah, or we'll pay for our lunch down there. Or they could send us some swag and we'll wear the swag and then... In the videos. Yep, that's true. All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here in the description. There's a link to the spring tools in there. Also, for Amazon, if you're not subscribed, press that button. That's all you got to do. It don't cost you any money. Just click the button. You guys have a great weekend. See ya.